Now, let us work with something called subdivision modeling. So, to work with subdivision modeling, we should understand the concept first. So, I'm going to take a plane right here, and over here, let me add in some, um, some details right over here. So, let's go to our object right here, and here are the width and height segments, as you can see right here. So, I'm going to press NB to actually get the details right here. So I'm just going to decrease the amount of divisions right here. So I'm just going to say two by two so that I have the concept much more in a clear way. So now what I'm going to do is convert the plane object into a polygonal model. So I'm going to press C right here and there you go, that's a polygonal model. So now what I'm going to do is choose a point, select the point right here and I'm going to bring this up. And over here as, you, um, as I did that, you can see that it actually uh, just pulled out this, uh, th this spot as a straight line right there. Let me do the same over here with this, this point right there as well. And let me do the same with this point as well. The point at the side, let me just bring this up. And you can see that everything is quite straight. So if I want to curve this out, what I can do is I can actually add in a division right here and make it look like as if it is curved. So in order for this to be automatically done, I can use something called the subdivision tool. So let's see how that works out. So I'm going to go over here and here you can see that there's subdivision surface. So let me just bring that object over here. And here you can see that there's a plane object. I'm just going to drag the plane object into the subdivision surface and let's see what happens. It actually curved out. So right now you can see that it is subdivided in uh, two times just like that. So let me just go over here and press zero on both of them. There's a subdivision editor and the subdivision renderer. We're going to discuss about its details now in a while. So over here you can see that once I set it on zero, it goes back to its default model right here. But let's say I want to add in one division to each of the faces. Let's say uh, each of the faces will be divided into two faces and the um, and the position will be curved out as well. So let me just press one right here. So I'm going to add one subdivision and now it is going to turn each of the faces into four subdivisions as you can see. And there's a bit of a curve. Let me go back to one again. That's the default one. So one sub surface is added over here once I press one and you can see that there's a bit of a curve. So for every face, there's four faces now and the division is there. You can also go over here, press two, uh, two faces. That was the default when we did it last time. And you can see that it is much more smoother. So this is basically how you make the object much more smoother. So let me just go back to one again. So I'm just going to go back to one and there you go. What I can do is I can still work with this subdivision right here, but on the renderer, I can make it appear as if it is much more smoother. So I'm going to have three level of subdivision a smoothing in rendering. So I do have a flat surface as you can see, but as I render it out by pressing Shift R, you can see that it is much more smoother than what you see at, um, over here. So if I were to go over here and uh, if I were to select the points and everything, I'm just going to go to the selection tool, go to the plane right here and over here I can select this, pull this out and you can see that uh, the subdivision actually works out. The subdivision does not have any points here, but if you were to go to the plane and select the surface out, you can see that you can actually start modeling just like that. So let me just press Control R to render it out there. So right now you can see that it has a polygonal uh, face right there. But if I were to go over here onto the render mode right here by pressing Shift R, you can see that it is quite smooth. So it actually did a three level subdivision as you can see. You can see that there are still straight lines. So let me just increase that out into four and the output will be much smoother. And this helps in uh, this helps in saving the processing power when you're actually modeling the, um, the model right here, just like this. There you go. So that is how smoothing works. So let's see further how we can work, utilize smoothing right here. So I'm just going to delete this all. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take something like a cube. So let's use subdivision on this. So over here, you can see that there's a straight line. And once subdivision is there, it'll calculate out the points right here and then add in four faces for each of the subfaces. So let me just go over here into the uh, subdivision surface. Let me bring the cube onto the subdivision surface and you can see that it actually becomes 
a sphere just like this. So in order to understand this further, I'm just going to go to the subdivision surface. I'm going to go to zero first. So this was the original shape. Once I have one level of subdivision, you can see that four faces were created for each of the uh, subdivisions right here, just like this. And then once I actually go further down, you can see that more faces is added in. So there's um, around 16 faces right there. So it multiplies and that's, it smoothens out everything. So over here on the level, I can have around four level of subdivision. And over here, when I render it out, it is much more smoother. And one thing that's cool about this is you can actually go to the cube and then you can, uh, let me just convert this into a polygonal model. Here, you can actually pull this out and it edits the subdivision level as you can see. You can also disable this to go back. You can change this and turn back the subdivision right here and it goes back to the smooth mode as you can see right there. So very, very useful for overall modeling. You can see that it's very, very useful. So let me just delete this out. Let's model something uh, right here. So let me use the extrude tool and everything else as well now. So I'm just going to take a cube right here. Let me make something like a mug. I'm going to go to the side view over here. So I'm on the side view. Let me go on to the top right here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this into a polygonal model just like this. And I'm going to take my face, click this and delete this out. And you can see that this is quite hollow now. So now well, what I want to do is add in a subdivision. So I'm just going to go over here uh, and then add in a subdivision surface. Right. Let me just drag this down, drag the cube down onto the subdivision surface. And you can see that this happens. The bottom part is curved out and the top part, as you can see, is obbled out. So let me just disable this. And now what I want is I don't want the bottom part right here to curve out. I want it to be straight. So I want it to be straight and you can still see the faces. For that, what I can do is I can add in something called the S loop that we learned in last lesson. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to press K for knife tool, K and L for loop tool. So I'm just going to go over here. Let me add in a division right here. And then I can also add in an inner extrude if I want to. But anyways, let's see the result. If I were to press this, you can see that where we added in the S loop, it actually stayed still because here are more faces right here. So once you actually go over here, you can see that there's extra face right here and it does not curve that out too much. You want it to be more smoother. You can actually go over here and click this right over here. And there you go. It is much more sharper. So you can see that this is how you can create it up. Let me just go back, go over here again. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to resize this out. So I'm just going to resize the face over here. So I'm just going to go over here and select the edges. You can see that I have the four edges right here. So let me just use the scale tool to scale this down a bit, just like that. And just like that. Press yes. And there you go. That's the scale right there. So you can scale this down and you can see that everything is quite smooth. So you can make it uh, to something like a mug right here, just like that. I can also bring this up or down and you can see that everything is quite smooth, just like that. And there you go. That's how you model a mug by using a subdivision surface right there. And also increase this in size. There you go. Uh, let me just select the cube over here. Let me select the overall object, increase this in size. And there you go. This is the main surface and the subdivision surface right there. So that's how you use the subdivision uh, modeling to actually smooth out the faces inside of Cinema 4D. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.